welcome to the stream. Let me just uh, shush up the music. <laughs> and we're going to change over the stream. There we go. Right, let's say hello to everyone. How are we doing today? I hope you're all really well. I am low. Welcome. Uh, let's see. We've got Stefan. Stefan's first. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, and Zelda Tears is here too. Lovely to see you. Uh, I hope you're doing okay. And uh, and I hope you're both having a very good day. And we're going to uh, get into some last few side quests today and um, some caving and we're going to be doing that in the Hebrew region. Poor, poor little Link is going to be a little bit cold today <laughs> um, but we're going to make him wrap up warm and uh, yeah so that's what we're going to do but first um, I am going to make some uh, crystallized charge exchanges for batteries. So we're going to do that today. I've been working very hard uh, off stream and collecting as much zonite and crystallized charges as possible and uh, yeah we're gonna do some we're gonna up our battery and I've got enough to fill the battery and be done with it which is so wonderful I'm so happy that we've finally done this on this save you're doing great Zelda Tears I'm so glad to hear that yeah I hope you're both having a great day right let's uh, do this let me know how the, um, let me just turn this up in my ear actually. Let me know how the sound is um, for the game. Well, obviously I want you guys to be able to hear what we're doing. So I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. I don't think we've done this on stream for a little while either. So we're gonna go through this. This is why I wanted to wait to get this all done on stream because this is our final five slots. So an energy cell has 45 slots for expansion. Yours will hold five more energy wells. To produce five energy wells will require 500 crystallized charges. Is that acceptable? Let's get producing. We have 718. Please wait. There we go. I love these little steward constructs. I think they're adorable. I have refined your crystallized charges into five energy wells. Small part made from crystallized charges. It increases the maximum energy that can be stored in your energy cell. A whole lot of energy going on. <laughs> Honest, I'd love some of that today, <laughs> please. If only with that easy. Right, your energy cell has been expanded to the maximum extent possible. It will not support any more energy wells, but you may still find yourself with surplus crystallized charges, which we do. Um, I will instead accept crystallized charges for your choice of Zonai device. Would you like to trade now for a Zonai device? Yes, I think we shall. You may select a Zonai device in exchange. So I tell you what we're going to do. Now I have like 14 rockets, so we'll get like all of those because <laughs> we have enough so we have another 10 of those which is great always in need of rockets and the other thing that I like to have a surplus of when I find it in the list are hover stones I only have five of these these are wonderful for um helping Addison out I never build anything for Addison anymore I think I've mentioned this before. I probably have. I, um, yeah, I just don't do it. it. It annoys me. I use hover stones instead. So let's do that. There we go. Yeah, for me, it's kill Lionels with <laughs> MSG at the Coliseum. If you can kill five, you get 10 charges. You get 100 charges. So you can get uh, one energy cell. Yeah. Uh, then force another blood moon and repeat till you have enough for max battery. Yeah, see, I have just basically been um, visiting all of the. Um, I've been going to like the the mines that have the zonite and then also the lava falls as well in the depths. 
Um, I kind of, I like the chill, <laughs> the chill way of gathering materials rather than um, going after Lionel's. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can, that's probably like, a, that is definitely obviously a, a great way of doing it, a very quick way of doing it as well. Um, you can buy big batteries from him. You can buy big batteries from him. They are, there you go. They are the most expensive though. Um, so to get all 10, you'd need like 300. Yeah, that look out right? Yeah, you'd need 300. Um, so they're 30 each. I have 12 of those at the moment. I don't often use those to be honest, the big batteries, but yeah, the, they are, they cost the most. Everything else is three. Um, big batteries are 30. And he only sucks 10 of everything. And then obviously with the blood moon, it all like resets. Um, but that's all I'm going to get from him for now. And I've still got 158, I think that said, um, left. But we now have... But you can't buy them from anyone else. No. You can't, you can't... You can get the big batteries in the, um... The Zonite, the Zonite device machines. I can't remember which ones though, but that's how I will, I think, I think you can. Am I right in saying that? Can you get them from there? How have I got 12 otherwise? Unless I've just, unless I've just got them from, um, from chests and things, maybe. But we're going to head over to uh, Rito. I think we're going to go to Rito. Hang on a minute. Where's the quickest way? Oh no, we're going to go to Rossboro. We're going to we're going to start our um, adventure off today um, with going and visit visiting Kennelly. Do I have a spear? No, I actually don't use spears. You you have a hint for me. What can we do with a spear? Tell me. Because <laughs> I'm after any. I mean, obviously, I, I don't want like backseat gaming or anything like that. But I, any help to get me through the Gandalf fight when that comes next month would be wonderful. <laughs> uh, let's get Link changed because he is that's our reason. And I'm gonna have a sip of my tea while I do this, so just bear with me. Get one, okay? Right, get a spear. Then fuse a hoverstone. Use a hoverstone to it. Okay, what does that do? Maybe we have a play. Oh, maybe we have a play around with this later. Um, I don't want those pants on him. Whenever there is a cliff, throw the spear, and the hoverstone will become a platform. And then refuse it to the spear. Cost zero durability. Oh, that's a really good tip. So if you're struggling to like get somewhere, you've got a a a, a pocket platform essentially. I like that. That's a good idea. Right, we're gonna do that. And right, we are heading this way. I wanna go and uh, make a start on our first quest. I think I've got. Three quests here. We'll have a look in this region. We'll have a look when uh, when I get down here. Oh, 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 oh! I nearly hit the side of the cliff. Right. So, um, adventure logs. Right. Let's bring up the one that we're going to start off with, and what we're doing today. So, we've got three side quests in this region that we're going to be um, concentrating on, and then after that, we're going to do some caving. Um, I'm saving the the wanted quest and the Gliok um, quest till next time um, and then we'll do a whole full-on um, combat session <laughs> like we had a couple of streams ago with all like all the last stream with like the Hinoxes and things um, so yeah I just we're gonna have a reprieve from from loads and loads of uh, combat today like big heavy combat today um, but we're going to start off with Kennelly's flight training. So at the flight range, Kennelly has set up a new training course where trainees will fly through rings floating in the sky. 
Before he can open it up to trainee, up to trainees, he needs a brave volunteer to go for a test run on the new course. So we're going to have a go at this and see what we can do with this. I love him. It's so nice that like he is still around, even though um, Tiba is now like in control of the. Well, not in control. But he's like chief of the Rito village. Um, when that came up originally, I was so nervous for Canelli. I thought they'd killed him off. I was so mad because he's so adorable. Look at him. He's just adorable. I love it. Uh, the, weapon, the weapon will never break nor will the hoverstone. Ah. Oh, well, you're not hitting anything with it, are you? So that makes total sense. You can even... You can even use it for for bullet time against monsters like... Oh, now that's... That's a very clever idea. I like that idea. Hi, Ardy. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. And I hope meow, meow is uh, good as well, you little kitty cat. He's, he's alive. Did you not know he's alive? How'd you not... Did you think he was dead all this time? No, he's here. He, he's he been sent to the flight range. He, uh, he let... He let he's retired and he's let Tiba take over uh, the village, so he's here to train the new Rita warriors. Do you know what? I've just noticed his uh, his his little feet don't don't hit the ground while he's sat down. You understand none of the words in the message before this. Yeah, it's uh. It's a lot, don't worry about it. <laughs> right, we're gonna give this a go and see what we can do. Okay, uh, so you're stepping up. You want to try my training course? What a surprise and an honor. The rules are simple. You pass through as many of the floating rings as you can before time runs out. You thought he was dead. <laughs> How is he alive? Well, it's only been, what, six, seven years since? Six years, I think, since, like, Breath of the Wild. So, and Rito live a long time, right? All these all these races seem to live, like, a really, really long time. <laughs> you have 20 hearts in your MSG world. Nice. Uh, and gold hearts for infinite hearts and infinite stamina. Re oh, goodness me. You and your glitches. <laughs> um, oh, and don't, don't stray too far. Uh, you'll be disqualified if you leave the flight range. Since it's your first attempt, I'll go easy on you. Let's say 15 rings is enough uh, to earn a passing grade. Manage that and I'll give you a fitting reward. Okay, so care to give it a try? Yep, yeah, let's do this. Marvellous, I'll show you the starting position. Thanks, Canelli. Ready? Put on your mark, get set, go! Okay. Ah! I'm a muppet. That's how we do it. Why am I missing all of these? This is really annoying. Ah, no, I only got 12. <laughs> Time's up. Yeah, I only got 12. I know I didn't miss some. So we're going to do that again. Infinite speed up times three. Goodness me. We're going to do that again. Mm -hmm. I need to complete this quest, Cornelli. Let me Let me do this again. Okay. Yes, let's go. Ah!
Yeah, we got 15. We're done. <laughs> nice. Time's up. I love how you go through like all of this detail and then you're like, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, you see, this is all glitchy stuff, though, because, like, you've duplicated items uh, to cook your meals. And then you have your meals are speed up by three. And then you have attack up by three. And then you have um, how to make the attack up four bananas, one... A dragon horn? Any dragon horn? I usually just throw, like, five bananas in. <laughs> Okay, this time you cleared 15 rings. That's a new record. Well done, Link. You passed with flying colours. Hoo hoo. <laughs> Do you have uh, a pair of wings hidden under there? <laughs> uh, you set a high watermark for my trainees to in to aspire to, but you set it to 15. I just got what you said. <laughs> Clearly, I picked the right Hylian to give, to give this course a spin. Please take this. Thank you, Canelli. You didn't have to pay me to do that. I think you have proven you are ready for more of a challenge. I suggest you try the advanced course. Unless it's a quest, we are not doing it. <laughs> You're welcome to train here as often as you like in exchange for a nominal participation fee. Please do come again, Link. Your feats are an inspiration to others. There we go. We're done. Thank you, Kennelly. Oh, I love him so much. He's so lovely. He just looks really cuddly. <laughs> right, so that is that quest done. We're going to move on to our next one, which we're going to go to uh, the capture tent. And then we'll then head to uh, the Hebrews Castle Fossil after that. Um, and then from there we can do loads of like, caving and things. But that takes us a little bit more into um, the further reaches of, of Hebra. So we're going to go do this one. So the tent that sisters Nat and Megan set up in a cave has been overrun with monsters. To learn more about what their... To learn more about what their mysterious that is, defeat the monsters and take back the tent. Oh, my chair arm is a skull wicker leaking. Okay. So let's go to the stable... And then we can run down from there, I think. It's probably the way to, to do this. Now, I can't remember whether I met these two who have given me this quest um, on stream. I feel like I may have done this off stream. But I met them at a cave um, in a, another area of... Uh, of uh, Hebra closer to the Lucky Gazette and um, they were after some mushrooms than mushroom hunters and um, so I gave them the mushrooms that they wanted and um, they would I can't even remember what it is but they they, they started like talking about something um, and then the other one was like no we're not gonna tell you and disappeared <laughs> and then they've turned up here so this is where they are this is these this is the girls here so we've got Megan here and we have Nat. Um, so they camped out at a cave further down this way. And uh, we have to now go and clear out a load of monsters for them. So that is what we're going to do. You remember the first time you entered my stream? How, how long ago was that? I'm curious because you've you've been in my streams a really long time. I don't want anyone to spot me. We've got peoples. I had 120, 120 subscribers and I was afraid of a goat knocking off the mountain. Was that breath? Of, that would have been Breath of the Wild, right? That would have been Breath of the Wild streams. When I was doing the uh, animal challenge, those goats are vicious. Can I just can we just like acknowledge that? Okay, 
Goats in this game are vicious. You don't see me, Mr. Mr. Belcoes, with your little carriage, your Uber. Bokuba. I see you over there. We're going in here. Nope, that way. <laughs> I'm also. I need to watch out for a, a, a some sticky frogs as well. Um, I am in need for an armor upgrade. So, hello everybody. Do we have pictures of you all? Uh, yes, so we do. Oh, the worst thing in here is a blooper goblin. That is. Uh, Yep, yeah, Breath of the, yeah, Breath of the Wild. I thought it would have been yeah, it would have been the Animal Challenge because I played it so often that when I decided to stream it, um, I came up with that Animal Challenge, and uh, I had a lot of fun with that actually because it was a a nice, and a very nice like different way, of um, of playing that game. But I am thinking when we finish this of maybe going back to Breath of the Wild and um. Hello, sir. Nope. 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 Thank you. Well done. <laughs> that was nice and straightforward. So let's uh, gather the goodies. And we'll also, we need to remember we're looking for um, whatever they're called. The bubble frog. Oh, we need to take a picture of that. Should get the Demon King's bow. Oh, I have like three of those at um, Link's, um, Link's Holiday Home. And I have one on me. Do we have a picture of that? Yes, we do. Um, yeah, let me... There you go. I have one on me. Um, which I will use for more um like silver enemies um now and then so i carry one on me and then i have three um in my house they are sat waiting um for the uh, the ganondorf <laughs> fight i will be picking them up uh, i think we need to go up here to find the bubble frog um i'll be picking those up um for the yeah for the the end fight along with uh, a couple of Lionel bows that I have um I have some multi shot bows that I'll be uh, having along with me um do I have something no okay so let's I am going to look at chat in a second let me just um where is my little hammer things at that I like? Is it that that I used? It must be. I just need to do that. Here we go. Hello. I am pleasing to meet you. Uh, with how many hearts yeah so yeah that i like that that bow's like that i think that encourages you to do more shrines um and then to up your um up your number of hearts i think that i like that feature with that bow that it, it the strength of it goes up the more hearts you have i still can make a knockoff game called father domestic <laughs> well you never know so your uh your demon your demon king bow does um forty damage, but you glitched it so it's five shot burst. Seriously, dude, <laughs> stop with the glitches. <laughs> right, let's get this guy. There we go. Okay, we have a bubble gem. 
That is that done. Let's grab some of these. Even, well, we do need them. I'm trying to get as many um, bonfires as possible. I want to be like so over prepared um, when we face Gandalf. <laughs> Just for my peace of mind. <laughs> so I know I'm, I can I can deal with him. Um, do I have a picture of you guys? Just chilling there. Yes, I do. Okay, that's fine. Right, uh, let's go and tell these girls that they can have their tent back. Let's also take that off the back as well. And we'll grab the little bright caps as we go. Whee! There we go. Um, the way out is this way. I get, yes, I do get that. Okay. I'm going back up this way. Let's go over here though. Okay. So we're going to go hand this quest in and then we're going to go and find uh, Hebra's colossal fossil which honestly I cannot say fast and I cannot say it more than three times in a row <laughs> if that uh, do I have a picture of you sir oh I do not we need a picture of you come no oh I don't think I got that did I come back here there we go Thank you. Trying so hard to fill this uh, compendium for Robbie. <laughs> I really, really, really want his uh, his reward. So I've got to be taking all the pictures all the time. <laughs> okay. So let's find these two. They oh, they're still by the fire. Here we go. Hi. Oh. I'm sorry we finally bumped into each other again here, but really, it's no time to talk about that. We have to chase the monsters away from our tent somehow. Well, I've just dealt with them for you. You defeated them. There aren't any more monsters. Oh, amazing, so amazing and strong. I think Nat has a crush on Link. <laughs> What's the relief? Most of what we've packed for our journey is in that tent. Now we can continue to search for that. You, We owe you, so here you go. Oh, your pouch is full. Oh, you're gonna give me food? I was gonna give you something for um, some of our home cooking. Could you organize your things and get back to me? Yes, okay, let's just eat some random piece of food like this. No, yeah, it's fine. Nat wants to give me food. <laughs> you made room, here you go then. Spicy steamed mushrooms. It's cold resistance, eight minutes. That might be quite handy. Can you show me how to, what, Vida, Vida scam? Or do you mean vendor scam? That you don't actually have to do, but can, can you show me, can you try the glitch? I don't, if you have Minaru, you can tell, you can tell me how to do the glitch. I don't do glitches and I'm not going to show that on stream either. Um. I don't want to get in trouble with Nintendo, which, you know, obviously they watch every one of my streams. <laughs> Not. <laughs> but no, I don't, I, I don't really want to show that on stream. Um. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, right. Let's get comfortable in my chair. My chair arm has a squeak to it when I move it. It's very annoying. <laughs> 
Uh, we're going to bring you into our secret quest to find that, as we promised. We're on the hunt for a fabled... Oh, okay, so we have a, we're going to have another quest to do. Uh, we're on the hunt for a fabled place, a haven of mushrooms. We discovered a note in a field guide to mushrooms that hinted of something spectacular. It said, Vapors drift over Sternida Basin near a pond in Hebra. This, at the source of the stream lies a bright mushroom haven. At the time, we didn't think much of it. Just a strange little note someone left in the margins. Then the upheaval happened and caves opened up and we thought maybe, just maybe, we could find a haven of our own. Who knows, maybe it was a joke some prankster scribbled in there, but if there is a mushroom haven, we have to find it. This is between us, you understand, me, my sister, and now you. If the message we saw in that field guide was accurate, then the haven must be here in Hebra. We just have to find the pond and follow the drifting stream to its source. So we better get going. Thanks, buddy, for getting our tent back. <laughs> okay. Oh, you did the vendor scam to buy all the Hyrule companion pictures. Well, I guess that is one way of doing it. <laughs> I like taking the photos, though. Though, I have to say, taking it for the monsters, not my favourite, but yeah. Uh, you know those NPCs? Well, I think every NPC was also in Breath of the Wild, right? So some of them it's actually nice to catch up with them. I can't remember what they, what they were doing in Breath of the Wild. But we are now going to... We'll go do this. Can I... Why can't I... S How weird. Have I already done... Hang on a second. think this is where we need to go i wonder if because i've already got the cave on the map that it's like it's not letting me set the objective that's really strange but yeah we're gonna go we'll go do this quest um so we're gonna go over to stanida basin so the best way to do that is once we've been over here we'll then go to here um i mean have we got anything oh we have look let's go here and glide like jump down you thought they died as well <laughs> no do you know i think i feel like the only npc missing from breath of the wild to tears of the kingdom is Cass. I feel like every other random NPC that was in Breath of the Wild is in Tears of Kingdom, except our beloved Cass, who played such a huge role in that game with all of his shrine quests and wonderful songs and his, you know, singing his song about Link and Zelda, the, like, when you go visit him and And yet he's not here and it's just it's so sad let's pin that so we know where we're where we are gliding to and then falling down to Whee! falling through the clouds here we go And we are here. Here we go. Yeah, I wonder if because this is already on the map. That, um, yeah. That, it didn't, it won't let me set an objective. Here we go. Hey Megan, I know we're in the right place. No doubt about it. 
No doubt that it's got to be here. Drifting stream, a secret hot spring. This is the place. Except no super bright. Not super bright, is it? Nope, good point. Okay, so maybe it's not here, here. But it doesn't mean it's not close. Somewhere down here must be our shining mushroom haven. All we have to do now is find it. Let's go, Megan. Okay, Nat. <laughs> oh, and they have disappeared. Can I? I can't get that out right. Is there a way? Is there a way around this side we can hold it? Oh. It's okay. I just, I need to get this chest. Can I go in there now? Yes, there we go. <laughs> Good news, you're going to do something nice for me. Oh, what are you going to do for me? Royal Claymore. You're going to go on a hunt in Tears of the Kingdom. What are you going to go hunting? Um, I am not going to take that. But what I will do... Oh. I guess I've already um <laughs> marked that. There we go. Right, let's... Uh, not bother with the ore to be honest we're here for bubble frogs and to find mushrooms for these girls okay oh let's um get you know bow out hi sir thank you Oh, I didn't want you to do that. Look, now you've just... So annoying. Do we have... Need to find the bubble frog. Oh? You behind this wall. Let's use Riju. There? There you are. Okay, there we go. What are you going to hunt? Are you going to find it first and then tell me? <laughs> I'm intrigued. Oh, we have some of these here. Okay, that... That's just the other side of there, right? Right? Yes. <laughs> just wanted to double check that. Okay, so not down here. But we got the bubble frog, which is one of the main things that we are needing. So that is good. So let's carry on this way. Rock, rock and more rock. I'm not speaking to these girls. They'll, we'll, we'll find it and they'll catch up. Okay. Right. Where? Where? Can't get in that middle section. That's where the bubble frog was. This is where we came out from. Hmm. <laughs> You're going to get rid of all the goats. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's... <laughs> I like that. No. <laughs> uh, I got that. I don't condone the killing of goats. I'm just like putting that out there. <laughs> They're just, they are savage in this game. In, and in Breath of the Wild. More so Breath of the Wild, I feel like. Um, I am so lost. Where? Oh, 
Am I missing something? Right, that's the... That's the way out. So we came down here. We did that. There's no way, like, anywhere there. I've missed an up somewhere or a down somewhere. You'll be civil and <laughs> totally not crazy by getting rid of them. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, you're not crazy. No, not at all. <laughs> that was part of that wall, which then took us down into there. Let's just double check this space again. Can we grab you while we walk past? Oops. No. We'll just scare you instead. <laughs> oh, hang on. Up here? No. That's where we were, right? It can't be somewhere that's like you have to ascend in because otherwise uh, Nat and Megan wouldn't be able to get in there. Okay. So we go down here. bit lost oh hang on a minute we've got a hole there's a hole in the wall with some water let's go through here <laughs> follow the water there we go oh duck link oh <gasps> It's so pretty and shiny. <laughs> Love it. This is it, the bright mushroom haven from the field guide. How totally completely amazing. The temperature and humidity are perfect for them to grow and there are so many different types flourishing here. This truly is a haven for mushrooms, a haven. And here we are standing right in the middle of it. You're not quite in the middle of it yet, Nat. <laughs> what the? No, you got here first? The mushroom haven actually exists. That message in the field guide was right. And it's wonderful as we thought. Definitely worth the effort. It's, such a sh it's just a shame we couldn't be the first to discover this place. I hate to say it, but as the person who found it, you earn the mushrooms here fair and square. Aww. That's okay. It's amazing enough just seeing it with our own eyes. As mushroom as mushroom hunters, what more could we really ask for? Uh, Megan, come on, don't just stand stand around and gawking wonder. Let's go. Huh? Go where, Nat? Can't you hear them? Mushrooms all over the world calling to us. <laughs> Uh, now that we've found the Mushroom Haven, I feel recharged and ready for another adventure. No time to waste. This world's filled with mushrooms and we've got to see them all. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah. Loads of mushrooms. Now take, take care now, okay? And if you run into us again, I better say hi. Honestly, Lynette, no need to scare the guy. <laughs> Thanks for everything. And like she said, take care. Yeah, Nat has a crush on uh, on Link. <laughs> okay, so I think we have all pictures of these. I'm pretty sure because the last one that I needed was a an endura shroom, 
and I picked that up earlier when I was uh, on a Sky Island. So we might as well just grab all of these because we can either sell them or make them into things. Oop. Get down, Link. Grab the hearty truffle. Got a big hearty truffle, that's good. go Let's grab all of the things they'll all grow back oh we've missed one. Oh, would i like that up there shall we leave the one no 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 we need to just we can't not we can't leave that one on its own it wouldn't be fair <laughs> right is that everything i think that's everything there we go Okay, so we can now get rid of that. This cave is being done. We are good to go. Never mind you, it's totally fine. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> right, now we're going to go to the uh, Colossal Fossil. Um, I think... Shall we go here and then we can make our way this way? I think we'll do that. And then this should be, if I've picked up every quest, which I think I have, um, this should be our final quest in Hebra. Not a final quest for the person who gives us this quest. I will just say she is I know she's gonna give us another one. Um after we've dealt with this. Um let's go down here. Oh, it seems like so long ago since we were over in this area. Oh, we've got Aracudas. Oh, Aracuda. Okay. Whee! Oh. Okay. I really shouldn't do that. It's quite risky. <laughs> I'm trying to find where I need to. Oh, we are still quite a way away. Let's get a little bit closer to the ground. Oh, hang on a minute. There's the bloopy. There it is. There's the doorway. That's the doorway I was looking for. Whee! Down we come. Into here. Okay. You have returned. I hope there's still goats in your game. <laughs> Let's grab these. Grab all of these extra mushrooms and bright bloom seeds. Take a load of these. Yeah, I thought I was going to hit the 999 again. Um, we'll leave those, I think. It's fine. Grab this one. Here is our colossal fossil. Oh, stop. Are there monsters to slaughter there? In this place? 
No. Not here. Um, as far as there's nothing in this cave except for loon and a giant fossil. Hi loon. I thought you might show up. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? How adorable this sharp how adorable is the sharp little mouth on this leviathan skeleton? He looks so different from the one in Elden too. Maybe he's another species? Or should I say she? What if there are what if they're the same species but one's a boy and one's a girl? <laughs> it's just so fascinating. Mm. Um which makes it even sadder that some of this little dumpling's bones are missing. Oh. See for yourself. Okay. So we're gonna go looking for the bones. Oh, do you know what I should have? A ruby and I don't have one. Oh well, we'll make fires. In addition to one missing fin bone, okay. One of the bones in this cutie's spine is detached. Oh. Ever since I took on the walk, on the long walk here, I thought I can't wait to see the fully intact Leviathan fossil. I bet the missing bones are still right nearby too. Oh, I wish I could see it all together. I'd pay anything for one good look at it. Does anyone remember Loon? Zelda Tears, do you remember Loon from Breath of the Wild? I'm curious if uh, if you know if you if you remember her or anyone else watching that like play Breath of the Wild extensively. If you go to your settings, oh yeah, you can invert your colors. Yes, I've seen someone do that. Who did I watch do that? And it was weird. Was it the basement? I think the basement have done that before. I think they've played um, using inverted colors. It looks so strange. <laughs> yeah, she is sus. <laughs> She has, uh, she has some uh, weird obsessions. Right. Yeah, she was, uh, I, she was a little bit obsessed with, um, with, with a guardian. And then, an no, it was, it wasn't it an orb. It was the orb for the, sh for the shrine that she, uh, she was a little bit obsessed with. Right. Um, we have a bone sticking out the wall there, so mm. let's grab Yinobo. Um, Riju, where are you? Let's get you. Come on. Oof. Link nearly had that on his head then. That would have been uh, interesting. Right. Okay. The bomb flower there. So she said the fin bone. This should just slot in here, right? Have I got this the right way around? No. Can you go in there? No, that's upside down. <laughs> Move backwards, Link. I think that's upside down. There we go. It was upside down. <laughs> you can move the ball away from her without completing the side quest and then you can crouch by her and it it looks like she's rubbing Link's face. <laughs> yeah, she's uh she's something else. Definitely. Um right, so the next one that we need is in here so since how I don't think I have a ruby I think I sold them I stopped carrying a ruby on the end of a weapon and I should not have done that we're gonna make a fire I didn't realize I had like 200 of those yeah. I am 
a little obsessed with uh, <laughs> picking them up. Should we get a fire a little bit closer? There we go. That worked better than that one. <laughs> Pretty sure the bones in here never sell rubies. Yeah, I know. I um I normally keep one or two, but I was I was in need of I was in need of money. <laughs> um beat Ganondorf with the bow and rubies. Ah that's a good tip. Yeah, I uh, I am I will get to the stage where I will um I will start to there we go. I'll start to save those things. But I was doing some armor upgrades and needed money. Right, so this should hang on. We need to tilt it up like that. Can we just slot in? No. There we go. We did it! Now we just need to go and speak to Loon. But first, we need to find the bubble frog. Oh, look, maybe over. No. Can we climb this thing? Let's see if we can find it. I'm going to finish this quest and then I think I'm going to take a break just for a minute or so. Yeah. Right, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go quickly speak to Loon because I, I have a feeling this may take me a minute to find the little frog. So let's speak to Loon, I'll hand in this and then I'm, I'm going to take a, a, a quick break um, just to grab some more water and just have a minute. So let's just do this. After all that walking I was really hoping to see the Leviathan fully intact. I'll stick some music on for you guys as well, I won't just leave you staring at, at Link. <laughs> you fixed it, you fixed it! Look at that, it's good as new! Ah, uh, take a moment to drink it all in. Those elegant fins, that rig rigid back, it's simply breathtaking. I really can't thank you enough for fixing my precious Leviathan. This is for you, it's the least I can do after getting to see such a darling fossil. 50 rupees, thank you. Hmm. I love to stay here gazing, but there's still one more Leviathan out there. I've been waiting for... It's been they've been waiting for me for me for they've been waiting for me for years and I don't want to make them wait even a second more. The last Leviathan is in the Gerudo region, so that's my next stop. Actually, let me see your map. We do have that cave. I think oh no, maybe not. Or maybe it just doesn't no, it doesn't show the caves on the map. But yeah, we have that cave on the map. Um they should be right around here. How adorable do you think they'll how adorable do you think they'll be? My money's on super adorable. What am I going what am I doing waiting around here wait oh, yeah, I definitely need to go for a break. <laughs> I can't read. What am I doing waiting around here? I've got to hit the road. Wait for me, cute little Leviathan. I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh this girl and her obsessions. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've now picked up our next side quest, which we won't be doing. Oh, we could go do that today, actually, and then it's done. We'll we'll do some caving, then we'll go off and do that, and then we've dealt with everything loon associated. But I'm just going to do that so that Link is protected. And I'm going to pop the tea break screen on, like so. And I shall put on some music for you guys and I um I won't be a minute. I'm just gonna go take a quick break and um just grab a little bit more water. 
and uh, just have a short breather. I won't be a moment. off perfect I wasn't too long just a couple of minutes I just needed just to stand up have a little bit of a, a walk go get some more water and uh, I am back so I should do that every stream to be honest <laughs> just give myself like a couple of minutes away before we carry on um I often get so like hyper focused into what we're doing that I I I tend to not have a break um but I should do it does me good just to step away for a, for a, even just for a minute so we're gonna carry on as hmm we're gonna find this bubble frog and then we shall maybe before we do some caving here in Hebra oh it's right there <laughs> hello um, before we do some caving in a Hebra, maybe we go and finish off um, the colossal fossil quest uh, with the one in Gerudo. Um, can I? There we go. Oof! Oh, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> you know, I know these things are evil, but <laughs> that just that wasn't very nice at all. Ooh, one flower. Let's grab you. Uh, 
and I might even let's just I'm gonna mark this with that because there is quite a, a few pieces of ore here it's always good to to find places with a decent amount of ore um because there aren't there's less of those than there were in Breath of the Wild um so it's always handy to know where they are right um what caves have we got left to do here but one here so hang on so that's one two three four five all right we've got five caves left yeah is that right did i count that right <laughs> one two three four five oh hang on oh why can't i count today <laughs> one two three four five six okay so six in the hebrew region yeah yes okay so let's get through let's try and get through all these six and then we'll go and speak to loon because i don't really want to move out of this area if i'm completely honest so where are we we are up to the top here so it would make sense to go here first so let's pop a marker there and do we have anything just thinking about it actually we do so let's go here i'd rather if i can i'd rather use the sky islands to jump down from as much as possible while navigating this area um if need be we can always make a little hover bike and just fly over but if we have access to these places like via the sky then why not we may as well so we're going to go that way and it's nice to be up here, even if it's just for a short uh, moment. So we're going over here. And up we go this way. And we're going down. Oh. I'm gonna say that island looks cool rocky there is actually a core rock on there so we're going essentially just straight down <clears throat> oh let's not let him see us we've got an ice gliok there <laughs> water this way there he is going down whoop here into here <gasps> oh. oh why 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 I can't see you know Bo There goes my master sword. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. My bow broke. <laughs> How did you throw that so high? Oh, she's she's gone. <laughs> and so is he. Riju! <laughs> She's still down there. It's <laughs> so random. Oh no. Have I icicle spit? No, I think I uh, I have the picture of the stick that we need. Oh, we have Miss Go's treasure. 
We've got those markers. So let's head down here for a second. Grab our goodies. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Okay, up we go then. Right, let's head this way. We need to find the bubble frog, which is here, which is good. Oh, you know Bo is going to have to go away. He is getting in the way. Okay. Let's grab these. Yeah, you know Bo, I'm sorry mate, but um, you're in the way. <laughs> okay, so... Where? Turn around, Link. Seriously. Thank you. This isn't Miss Go's treasure. Oh, hang on a minute. We're gonna drop something so I can take a picture of that. Because I don't have a picture of this, I don't think. Um, nope, let's get a picture of that. Um, and it's staying there. We don't need it. Won't ever need it. I don't really want to use that. Oh, where you go with this? Okay. So, oh, there. Let's just... Where do we go? Is it up there? No, that's where we had the bubble frog, right? Yeah, that's where the bubble frog was. Is it all the way up? Is it? Trying to find another opening. Oh. Um, I think this might be what we're looking for. So let's grab this. Found it. <laughs> Okay then, let's see what's in here. I think this might be a piece of the frost. Yeah, the frostbite headdress. Made, from ancient, made for ancient rituals, this item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in, in low temperature environment. So that's our second piece of that. Um, let's... We have, I think it's the, like the armor piece, the chest piece. I've just gone past, I've gone past it somewhere, haven't I? Yeah, there, look. So we have that. We have the shirt, so we just need the trousers. Which will be in one of these caves that we are going to go to next. I think it's actually in this cave here. Which we will get to. We'll definitely do that one. Um. Okay, so our next one we're going to is going to be here Tolonto Peak Cave is where we're going next so let's go to the shrine and then we will make our way to the cave to 
get these knocked off. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting there <laughs> with these uh, bubble gems for Colton. Right, so if we change this to this, going that way. I don't want to use you actually. Do we have a picture of you guys? We do. Oh, look at you, so excited. Looks so happy and excited. Sorry. Um, mm -mm, this way. Oh, it's there. Let's grab some where this ice fruit go. There we go. Okay. So, do we have things in here that we're going to eat us? Or is it just really cold? Can we grab th I'm just curious to know if we could actually grab that. No, let's make our own. Um This will do, a little little boat. Oh, can we yes we can. Come on, Link, let's go. Doo -doo -doo. That was uh, the shortest trip in the world. Grab these. <clears throat> it's a little unnerving that nothing has. Uh, let's actually do a sound just so if I need to make a quick exit, I can do. Where is the bubble frog? That is the question. There's nowhere else to go here, right? I can now, I can hear it. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a ledge up there. Hopefully this doesn't take us straight out. There we go. Come on, run. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. We have to save the blue pea. And the gem. Okay. That one's done next cave is this one so it's actually not too far away i guess we could uh we could always travel ourselves there we'll do some exploring along the way let's go this way do, do, do. back we go okay Head this way. Actually, can we go? Can we not go up? Here we go. Let's go up. We'll get some height. Oh, it's dark and we're on the side of a cliff. <laughs> not quite what I had in mind. 
Um, we're also, I need the map. I, oh, I don't know what it is. I always keep pressing the wrong button for the map. So let's go this way and then we can make our way over that way. I'm going to go up and then across. Okay, up we go. Just hope nothing decides. Oh, oh, they're sleeping. We'll leave them asleep. They need their beauty sleep. It's fine. <laughs> We're going this way. Come on, Tooling, keep up. Fly, my pretty flower. Okay. Oop. Yep, let's slam you into the wall. <laughs> up, up, up. Uppity, up, up, up. And straight that way. Okay, up, up, up. let's go. Wait, am I on top of it? Oh, I am. Get out of the water. Okay. We have little keysy people here. Let's deal with those. With the uh, cousin's eyeballs. Oh, they've made platforms. <laughs> okay. Well, let's grab that. Oof. Okay. Is there any more of them around? So I think what we might do, I'm hoping this is going to work, we're going to eat this and that's two cold resistance. I'm hoping that this will mean that we can climb the ice. Yes, there we go. So here is our bubble frog. And now we just need to find Miss Girl's treasure, which is all the way over that side. Right, Tilly, you ready? We're gonna go fly. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So cute. What's so cute? Link. Link is so cute. <laughs> and we have the full set of that now. Um, so let's show off our lovely outfit. There we go. It's very Zonite. I love his little slippers. They're kind of cute. That top reminds me of a swimming costume I used to have. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, let's pop this back on. Uh, and these. Okay, so that's that cave dealt with. These are all being very straightforward. Kind of liking that. Little ice platforms I made for you. Yes, also Link. <laughs> yeah, ice platforms and Link, very cute. 
I don't know why I've never noticed that they. I've never. I don't think I've ever like gotten rid of any of the ice keys over water, so I didn't realize that they would do that. That is kind of a nice little feature. It makes sense. Oh. Oh, I didn't want to be on the ground. Darn it. <sighs> Dang it, Link. Can we ascend anywhere? Hate it when that happens. Don't want to be here. Right, we're gonna. Oh, we've got nothing above us either. Um, I guess we go here. Let's go to the tower and then make our way down. That's really annoying. I really, 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 really wish that there was something on the map that told you when the shrine was underground. <laughs> Because it's super annoying when you think like, oh yeah, I'll be able to get to this from here. And you're in a cave and you can't ascend out. Because the ceiling's too high. <laughs> it's so annoying. That would have been perfect. I just don't want to go all the way through the cave. When we've got another cave to deal with. Oh wait, hang on. That's that cave. Right? Why did we not? If that. Is that that cave? <laughs> Why did we not get the bubble frog? Did we just not find it? Did I forget? Because it was like, let's do shrines. This is the... I'm so confused right now. Which doesn't take a lot, to be honest, today. But... Right, let's go. Oh, come on, Link. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. Right, do you know what? We've got, what is it? We've got cold resistance. It's fine. Um, We've got, it's fine. Let's just go. Come on. I know, I know, I know it's cold. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. Yes, this is this cave. So where is the bubble frog? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Ser se oh, hello. Someone is uh, throwing up question marks. Oh, hello. Do I have a picture of you? I do have a picture of you. There we go. So, where is the bubble frog? Is the question. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we don't have a picture of that. But Mario and Aldo say woof woof, which is all over in that language. Okay, then. If you say so, let's just uh, drop that because I don't think I will have a picture of this. It's not like, oh, okay, we do. I must have done that before then. Right, so where is this bubble frog at then? There's no way up there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Come on. 
how annoying. Hello, sir. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Right. Next cave. Oh, we've got this one up here. Um, let's go do this one. And then we'll go back down. I forgot about this one in the top corner. So let's go do this one. Um, and then we'll get that last one. And then we shall uh, go and um, help Loon with her next fossil, I think. Uh, where's the bluebees? Are we going this way? Should be around here somewhere. Why, Link, don't get down. You don't need to climb every rock. Do we have a picture of you? We don't have a picture of you. Oh, I wish I'd taken a picture of him with the green crystal on it. Because we defeated this guy. That's why we have the shrine, because it was one of those, like, get the crystal and get the shrine. I just, I wish, I wish I'd done that before. I wish I'd taken the picture before that had changed, because that was, oh, hello, guy. Oh. Uh, okay, so. Right, where? Are you just going to, you're not. Oh. Okay, my sound just cut out for a slight second there. That was so strange. Oh, these guys are just gonna see me. So let's, uh... My earphones, my headset keeps cutting out. Your, guys, the sound on the stream's all right, isn't it? Please tell me it is. Oh, hang on, no, let's, let's model board you. And some of you guys can be model body as well. All play with each other. I've been getting, I've been getting the connect disconnect sound a few times on stream. See the stream, everything is like good. I've not had anything. I've not had anything to come and say like I've dropped frames or it like it's like the connection hasn't been good everything's all my messages on YouTube are like everything's fine but yeah I've just noticed my it's just started now but I know I've I had issues with my headset um about a week ago I just I wonder if it's something to do to do with that Just, you know, let him do his thing. And then we will uh, deal with him. I think we're gonna use some gift of bronze, actually. You, do you wanna, do you wanna sort him out? And then we will deal with the big boy. straight for me hit him in the face link 
get underneath him. I can't. He can't hit me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> get as close as you can. He can't hurt me. <laughs> Yeah, the sun's been fine, just getting uh, that ping now and again. Yeah, I wonder if it's... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe uh, it may be the headset being a bit strange. Because it's also, I've noticed, it's not... When I'm wearing it and I'm listening to something, um, the range isn't as good on it as it used to be. And I just, I wonder if my, um, cause it's the, it's a Logitech headset, um, and it runs, it's connected to the laptop, um, via the light speed, um, like little dongle. And I just wonder if, um, if it's something to do with that, cause that wasn't working great. Um, what am I doing? The other stream. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I had a, a moment where my, <laughs> I had no audio, um, and yeah, I, I, I'm not sure whether the, the light speed dongle is working as it should, which isn't great. So I may need to just like watch that, but there we go. We are done with that one. <laughs> Dad, don't ask people their location. Oh, we're not done with that one. We need to find the bubble frog. Where's the bubble frog? have to stay safe on the interwebs okay <laughs> maybe we go hmm maybe 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 the little frog's up here oh I think it might be there oof what what sound that was a like like right that was, what a horrible sound that was. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> oh, it made, me, oh, it made me jump for a little bit. <laughs> Where are my fire fruit? Oh, you are, that's not good, is it? Can I, oh, we're getting, we got it. Yeah, that was, that was a horrible sound. Can I hit you from here? <gasps> well, you shouldn't ask people their location on the internet. You have to be, you have to be safe about these things. <laughs> Obviously, my dad tells everyone his address <laughs> on the internet. I'll grab this while we're here. I haven't been bothering with this, but we may as well. Um, right. We're going to carry on up. Because it seems like there's a little bit more to this cave. There's probably a second... Another exit. Yeah, here we go. Oh, hello. Did not see you there. He's gone. Oh? Is there something right above me? <laughs> what was that? I swear something just... Okay. 
How is the like like stone there? Oh, it's a blue boy. You be gone. You shush. Don't think there's anyone else here. It's hard to tell because it's so windy. Can't hear anything. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. Oh, I've just pressed the wrong button because I'm staring at the chat. know how big ASL was growing up. <laughs> no, ASI was growing up along with the, no, ASL, sorry, growing up along with the internet getting big. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I was, I'm, I'm of an era where, where Google was always a thing and the internet was always a thing, right? <laughs> Oh, it's nice and sunny there. 61 degrees. Thank you for putting that in there, Celsius, for me. So we can understand it here. <laughs> 16 degrees and sunny. Sounds quite lovely. It's been rather cold here. It's raining now. Uh, I can't actually tell you what the temperature is. Um, oh yes, I can. It's on my laptop. It's uh, 12 degrees and windy. We've had storms coming through. And when I say s storms, I basically just mean like a whole lot of rain and high winds. <laughs> and not hurricane force winds. Just FYI. <laughs> we don't get that a lot here. Okay. That is our second exit. I'm glad we got that on the map. Right, time to do our last Hebra cave. And then they will all have been done. Looking at this, every one of these all has a little tick on it, which is what we're wanting. So we're going here. And this I think is a monster cave. Your heart back to the days of dial-up modem. <laughs> mm. Right, let's go here. I well. You actually go back further than that, Dad. <laughs> so the good old times of CB radios. <laughs> Talking to random people on CB radios. Let's run upon these days to ask ASL we're making up for the inherent misogyny and ageism now. But you've got to keep your location as secret as possible. Dangerous world out there. Yes, you are right. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever encourage anyone on my streams to give away their exact location. Country, like, with America being so big, I guess, like, country and state is fine. Um, I feel like here, um, county is, is fine, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't never give, like, exact, ask for, like, exact locations or encourage anyone to do that. Um, also, I would never encourage anyone to share ages on stream as well um out of safety but yeah it is it's kind of interesting to know like countries where are you guys are where you guys are like um watching from i find that quite fascinating i mean i don't 
I think I said in the last stream or the stream before, um, we were talking about like subscriber numbers and things, and um, I don't, I don't generally like focus a lot on subscriber number and um, like views and things like that because it can, if you get so fixed on that, it can take away the joy from doing this. Um, and I don't ever want that to happen because I love doing this so much. It's so much fun. Um, but it's always interesting when I do sort of um, delve into the demographics of the viewers, the viewers of the stream to actually see where you guys are um, watching from. It's quite interesting. So I kind of like that. Yeah, my um, my main viewership is is America. Oh, hello. Can I get you from there? I can. And uh, I think then my second country is the UK. I can't remember what the third is. Maybe Canada. CB CB radio is illegal. Then yeah, you shouldn't have been playing with it. It's very naughty. It's very bad. Should not be doing. Talking to truckers. <laughs> Ugh, why? Why is this silver? Can I deal with you with this? Oh, no, you weren't silver. Oh. You're a little, little red boy as well. Oh, there he is. There you are. <gasps> nope. swap to you because I really want to get rid of you like yesterday. Please just leave me alone. I don't like you. Oh! We unlocked a chest! Cool! <laughs> Are those blue specks on the map the places that you have been? Um, let me gather the things and then I'll, I'll explain. Let me just... Um... So on the map, the blue places are shrines um, and they are fast travel points. There's also towers as well. They are blue once they are activated and then they are a fast travel point. The towers also unlock the map so when you start you have no map. Um, until you unlock and activate the first tower which is this one right here and then you can fast travel so it's a quick way to get from like say this area of the map which is where I am now up in Hebra and um, now this cave is done we're actually going to be heading all the way down here but instead of having to do that on foot or via like flying machine um, I can just fast travel to the nearest fast travel point and um, it just makes it so much easier to navigate because this world be big and uh, yeah it takes a little bit of traveling from one side to the other so having fast travel is uh, is great pick up the bright bloom seed oh dude oh, come on link no thank you i want to see what's in this chest it'll probably be some random weapon a soldier's claymore spear. We do not need you. Thank you anyway. Um, maybe we should unlock that. I should be able to just do that with a fire arrow, I think. Rather than set an actual fire. I feel like there might be something behind that. What's CB? Um, I can't even tell you what it was. What What does it? I don't even know what it stands for. It's the type of radio that um, truck drivers use. I can't think what it actually stands for. Oh, there's a chest behind you. Ah! 
<laughs> I really need a ruby. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the radio that truck that truck drivers have in their cab to communicate with one another. Um, my I think it was my grand I think it's actually technically my granddad's maybe. Um, my dad's dad he had one, and my dad used to use it. <laughs> To speak to random people <laughs> um but yeah i can't tell you what it what it stands for citizens band there you go <laughs> um let's actually grab the uh, luminous stone while we're here since i'll we have a little time to do that okay Right, now we're done here. So all of the Hebra caves are now done, which is wonderful. We do have this one in, like the only one in the Tabantha area to do. But I think what we're gonna do, looking at the time, we're gonna go and speak to Loon. Let's get uh, this done, because this, if I remember rightly, will take a little bit of time. So let's go here. You could, you could talk to anyone that had one, right? Anyone that was kind of near? Yeah, essentially. I'm not sure like how far he reached, but yeah, you could talk to pretty much anyone. Uh oh, Link is now overheating. So let's pop his uh, cool little Gerudo outfit on and cool him down. <laughs> and where... Oh, hello you. You don't see me. You've got a bomb barrel in your little claws. Um, right, we're gonna... Take this. Go this way. I'm gonna climb up here. Come on, Tulin. I'd rather not land on the sand. The Zilla's outpost right there. Tulip. Dude, why? Thank you. I think the blue marks on the map are shrines link can fast travel to. Yep, you are absolutely right. Go up here. Anyone playing this game, this place is worth an explore, just uh, FYI. This is the um, the lightning temple. Um, the outside of this has got quite a bit of um, ore around it, as you can see. <laughs> and there's also some uh, chests as well. Uh, we are going up again. <laughs> the gadgets in this game are so nifty. But the the rocket shield, I love a good rocket shield. They're great. I try to use them sparingly though. It was as far as the horizon, it seemed. So a good 20 miles or more. So you bought a really good one for your dad, for your father. You used to talk to people in Europe? I didn't know that. You never told me that. That's kind of cool. Okay. Up we come again. I should put his little sand boots on to be honest, he would uh, run a lot faster if I did so, but we're at the top now, so it's fine. Up we go, up, 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 link up. <laughs> That's so cool actually, yeah. It's like a precursor to the internet, I guess. <laughs> no, I uh, won't do that. game amazes me to be honest I cannot work out how <laughs> well knows her way around 
Um, that's because I have a lot of hours in this game. And my weird hyper-focused brain just seems to retain all of the information on this game. <laughs> so yeah. Talking French people, <laughs> you'll see me. Yeah, yeah, I... That would be, uh, be probably right, actually. You'd definitely be able to speak to people in France. And thankfully, since it's a language that uh, we learn here in the UK, uh, we'd actually maybe be able to speak to them properly. <laughs> Still ask how many hours she's put in. I don't actually know. I don't know how many hours I've put into this. Um, so yeah, and I can't look on stream because I uh, where it is is it would show my um, my friend code as well and I don't particularly want to do that on stream <laughs> um, my friend code is in my is in my discord but I don't really want to show it on stream it's for people who would like to play in the discord oops a daisy okay here we go Hi, Loon. I know I'd find you here. I think you might love fossils even more than me. I really doubt that. So hey, take a look at this fossil. Doesn't it look kind of like a child? Oh, why, why? Oh, hello. That's kind of creepy. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. Uh, do you think the little one could be the biggest leviathan, the bigger leviathan's child? I mean, it's hard to tell just from the skull, but they look pretty similar to me. Extremely similar, in fact. Uh. Just imagine the fossils of the parent and child leviathan side by side. Could the child's fossils, body and tail still be somewhere nearby? I sure hope so. I've travelled so far, I just can't... I just can't go home without seeing them together and intact. I'll pay any price. Okay, so we need to find the rest of this fossil then. We have the bubble frog, so let's... We need to do that. Okay, so... There's part of the fossil that we need. Uh, let's stick Link's sand boots on, to be honest. Um, just for the sections of this where he is going to be walking through sand. Like that. So let's grab the bubble frog and then we will pop this, uh, this little fossil back together. Up we go, Link. Can I get you from here? I surely can. Ugh. I'd hate that. <laughs> it's horrible. I <sighs> don't like it. Right. So we can now take that off there. Let's fix this fossil. Balloon. Okay. So yeah, we have a piece there. So we sh can we pull you out of here? Yes, we can. No. Ooh. Okay. Have I had a drink? Yeah, I've had a drink. I should drink more <laughs> right now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, right, let's grab this. So this is the tail. So we've got a middle section to try and find. Something tells me it's above us somewhere. I think <laughs> water break. I'm, I've had my water break. I've just had some water. <laughs> exclamation tea break you want. No, exclamation hydrate actually. I made it easier for you guys to, uh, to uh, bring that up. So yeah, it's exclamation hydrate. 
Am I doing story stuff or no? No, I haven't done story stuff for a very long time. Uh, Mega Evie, it's lovely to see you here, by the way. Um, I have I missed seeing you last couple of streams. I hope you're doing okay. There you are. We're doing side quests. Come on, fall. <laughs> Why? No. Come on, there we go. Perfect. Ah! Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're doing side quests, Evie. Um. Am I doing good today? I'm doing okay. Um, I'm not, uh, I haven't felt the best today, I, ha I will be completely honest. Um, but I didn't want to cancel stream because I felt like I would, I would be okay streaming, which I have been. I don't feel like I've got a hold of that right. It doesn't. There we go. So, that there. And then let's connect this onto there. There we go. We've made a fossil. Oh, his head's not straight and that's gonna bug me. Come on. <laughs> oh, shush, loon. You wanted me to do this. There we go. Look, I fixed him. Look at the baby. <laughs> I knew it. the fossil was a baby leviathan after all. Just look at them. You can totally see the family resemblance. Lego with bones, essentially. Um, I can just picture the two of them swimming through the ancient oceans. You put the baby leviathan fossil back together for me, didn't you? It's so darling. I can hardly stand it. Here, take this reward before I lose my mind. <laughs> Think you already there, Loon. Think you already there. <laughs> Even less straight. I know. Just, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's not going to bother me. It's okay. Okay? <laughs> <clears throat> my life my life is complete. Um, visiting the Elden, Hebra and Gerudo regions, meeting all my cute little leviathans, and this parent and child combo may be the cutest of all. I just want to stay with this adorable leviathan fossil family forever. 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 There we go. We are done with Loon. We have done everything that she has asked of us. All sorted. Okay. So, what's kind of cool is because we used auto build, um, ultra hand, sorry, to put that fossil together, is we actually can now, um, like build him. <laughs> Which is really, really cool. So yeah, we can take, we can like bring him out and have him places. I've seen people attach rockets and all sorts of things to this, to this fossil and turn it into a proper dragon, which looks incredible. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, fun fact, a group of owls is called a parliament. Now, I knew that. I don't know how I know that, but I knew that. Thank you. See, Eve is here with all the facts now. <laughs> Andrew Jackson's parrot had to be removed from his funeral because it wouldn't stop swearing. <laughs> Polly wants her mouth washed out. That's funny. <laughs> right. Um, what we're going to do is it is nine o'clock, so I do want to be wrapping up the stream. 
but maybe we go do this cave here as our final one because that is looking at this map it's the last one in this entire area that we need to do and then we've got them from here down into we've got a few in Gerudo to do um but yeah I feel like this would it just be a nice finishing point on this whole sort of top left section of the map so let's go to Limbo Lindor's brow tower And then we're going to head into uh, the canyon over this way. So let's put a pin in there. Anyone interested? There's um, a gloom hands in here. The Lin Lindor's brow cave. There's a gloom hands living it up inside that cave. Just a FYI. <laughs> Terrified me. <laughs> As they always do. Because they be creepy. Well, shall we get Link changed? He really does not need to uh, be wearing that outfit anymore. There we go. Now he's our Link again. So let's head down here. go into this cave here. I'm hoping it's going to be a nice straightforward one. There's the bloopy shiny. Whee! Oh, look at little Boko's fast asleep. We've got wolves appearing as well, so let's uh, try and get as close to this entrance as we can. Is wait where there? Oh, hello, sir. go thank you can we open this <laughs> Mary if Mary had a little lamb was a real person and the song's based on a true story Ooh. is that real is that right that's interesting if that's right So I had, um, oh, oh, we have a Stalnox. We're not going to disturb him. I don't want to deal with him. I just want the bubble frog and gone. And he's not going to wake up while he's covered in that. I think that might be where we need to go. Yeah, as long as uh, I don't uncover him, he shouldn't wake up. Watch him get up now and freak me <laughs> completely. Um... We're going up here. Ugh, I don't like that you can just like see his little hand poking out to the side. It's horrible. Up, Link. No! Get up! Oh, seriously? Do you want to climb properly? Riju. Perfect. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. -ho. Can I? Can can we go again? There we go. Okay. A little bit of ring. 
Ring a ring of roses is about the plague. Isn't all of, no, all of that's about the plague, right? Isn't all, all of that's about the plague? I feel like we've had this discussion, right? <laughs> a while ago. With nursery rhymes. Yeah, I think that was all about, because people, people used to carry like little pockets of like, as it says like pockets full of posies to try and keep it away. my bow I'm always sad when that happens <laughs> let's get you no bow out um I choose you you know bow let's go uh Riji come here because we can use we can alternate between the two of you so oh. this is a oh a long Okay, so let's see what's in you. We have a ruby. <laughs> I don't think we'll need it. We could have done with that a whole lot sooner. But right, let's, um, we're gonna get Yunobo. We're gonna go this, go over here. Come this way, Yunobo. <sighs> I'm gonna check this way because we are looking for the bubble frog mainly. That is the goal here. Not you two, and we'll wait for we'll wait for you know both to be ready. Riju. I love that you can alternate between the two of them. Right here we go. Okay. This is good. I think this might be all that's here. We'll just double check. Have I what? Have I ever thought of being a demolition expert? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not destructive. <laughs> My friends are. <laughs> the fact the human body contains enough fat to make about seven bars, seven bars of soap. Ugh, that's gross. I didn't need to know that. Why did I read that out? <laughs> that is not a fact that I wanted to know. Right, I don't think there's anything else here. Unless there's something this way. Let's just check. Let's grab uh, Riju and we'll just check. Nope, it's it just be a wall. Do we have a picture of the rusty claymore? We do. Okay, perfect. Might as well grab that. Right, I think let's pick up our map. I think that's that done. I don't, there's nothing else it seems uh, to that cave, which is good. So that means that all of the caves in this area are all complete. Everything in this central area is complete, going down here and through into Farron and Nakluda and up into Lanayru. Then we just have one there to do. Oh, do you know, I'm so tempted. Oh no, because look, we've got that one as well to do. And we've got a few in this region. So we'll probably hit this region and we'll do this region in another stream. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that now. Um, And then, yeah, we've got a whole load to do in uh, Gerudo. Some of these are um the same cave. They just have to... Um, entrances to them that one does this one is here um so yeah it looks like there's some extras but it's actually it's just all the same map and then we've got some sinkholes to go down as well so this will be another entire stream 
There's some corks to sort out there as well, and that's all we can do in with there because that's all the glue dough. But that was good. We've knocked off what's that like seven caves, and uh, on the adventure log side, we now only have at the moment four side quests left to do. So we've got the Gliot Gux one and then the Wanted. Now once these three Wanted are done, we will be getting three more. Um, so technically we have seven quests left to do. We just haven't picked up those yet because we've got these to deal with. Um, so we'll probably do that next stream or the stream after of Tears of the Kingdom. But we are going to end there. It's been a lot of fun getting those things done. We're getting, I feel like we're slowly creeping towards completion. Um, and then on to um, getting Ganondorf sorted out and like that whole end to do, which is coming on the 12th of May. Um, I have set a date. We're working towards that date now. We've got like a month, just a month and two days, a month and two days until that happens. And that will be a Sunday stream because the 12th of May is a Sunday. Um, so it's like a one-off, not a one-off Sunday stream because I'm actually, I'm planning a Sunday stream next week as well. <laughs> um, but I will let you know more on that closer into next week when I do my schedule. Um, but thank you so very much for joining me this evening, spending some time with me. I know you guys could be doing anything else. Um, so to have you come in and watch and whether you're just watching and not chatting or being in the chat as well, I really appreciate all of you. Um, it's lovely to have some company while I do this and I hope you've enjoyed it. I always enjoy playing this game um, and like chatting while we while we do it so I hope the same is for you guys. I hope you're enjoying these and uh, yeah it's going to be fun to get everything wrapped up after like a year of playing this game and um, but I will be back on Friday with more Tunic. Um, we have things to do in that game um, I figured some things out. I did look some stuff up. We will discuss that on Friday during the stream because it's not relevant right now while we're, while we're in this game. Um, if you want to connect on social medias um, or in the Discord, all the links are in the description um, along with some affiliate links to some things that um, I kind of do as well as gaming, uh, mainly like books and tea and stuff. Um, you're welcome to to check that out there's no obligation to buy anything but it is an affiliate link so i do gain a little bit of a commission if you buy anything using that uh, those links um so yeah have a wonderful rest of your day whether it's morning afternoon or evening um and i will catch up with you all on friday so thank you very much again and take care everyone and be safe whatever you're doing bye